Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you again for joining me back on my channel. I just want to give you a look at my market garden and so far how's the process going. So I've built a small little door for it to keep the calves out that are roaming the pasture. So let's take a look inside what I've been up to. I don't know if you've ever heard about the 2080 rule. So I've done 20% of the work. Hopefully I hope to reap 80% of the benefits. What I've done is I've planted some seeds. I've actually removed some of the covers. If we take a look at what we have. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, I planted some white beans. I believe they're called white northern beans. Take a closer look. They're doing quite well. So this is my experimentation season and also I I want to fertilize the soil that's why I've used beans to add more nitrogen to the soil and I've just added a mixture of different seeds and uh, mostly compromising of beans and I have sorghum on the other side I, I shouldn't be that happy because there's a lot of those invasive species as you can see and they just like to drop their seeds everywhere so basically I'm doing a lot of different methods and using a lot of experimentation to see what works for me what grows really well what's easy and requires less and less work because I'll tell you I have so many things to do I don't want to be in the garden all day in this in the beaming sun so I'm trying to work I'm trying to see what method works best for my schedule I'm gonna show you my little mini nursery under the neem tree and my mini nursery consists out of I don't know if any one of you can name this plant that one right there maybe if you look underneath it no you can't see it anymore but that's a mango so i've taken a mango pit i've taken out the seed inside of it which was really hard work it's not easy slippery and everything but i found a way to do it so i'm growing mango here and here the stalk is coming out there's a big seed underneath what i've got next going on is i am propagating some sweet potatoes that i have over here in a bucket that has holes on the bottom furthermore some of the watermelons and the Hot peppers were grown in these paper cups and that's there furthermore I've got some ginger in here that's growing real well I've got so many different things growing see what works see what doesn't work the soil was really a hard and uh, I feel a lot in the soil mixing the soil with sand knowing the proper ratio of uh, an organic soil and manure aged manure that is and uh, yeah it's been a a real learning curve here uh, here is the one that you can see very clearly what I've planted the mango pit or inside the pit there's a huge seed 
and after I planted the seed you can see oh first I forgot to tell you I propagated the seed putting it in uh, wrapping it with tissue and uh, dampen it with water and then putting it in a bag uh, for a few days few nights and as you can see now the mango tree is well underway and it's coming in real nice once it gets a little bit bigger I'll transplant it somewhere in the pasture so these are my hopefully future profitable garden beds where I've used the lasagna gardening method with my own modifications as I like to call it the clay buster lasagna garden and for this season I'm only growing sorghum on one side and white bean on the other side to further decompact the clay soil underneath and really turn this into a booming ecological or soil full of bio life garden bed that hopefully in the future I can grow my sweet potatoes and my what may have you over here on the left side as you can see these uh, invasive species or weeds they throw their seeds everywhere so I gotta rip all these out but here are the beans coming in real well here you can see some beautiful watermelons growing alongside some sorghum so why do I have these plastic bottles sticking out of the bed right so that is for some deep watering so that underneath the the logs the manure the fresh cut grass all the layers that I've laid down so that they can decompose and continue decomposing that's what that's for all those weeds along the hedge I plan to take that out and replace them with some edible vines such as passion fruit cucumbers man there's so much life in in this soil already there are so many bugs crawling and flying it's very hard to tell on the camera but with my naked eye it's ridiculous I see all different types of insects hopefully they're all beneficial it, so far it's been really working out great as I'm building this market garden my previous project the food forest um, worked out great but when I entrusted someone for the maintenance of just watering them they kind of screwed me on it but I have no regrets because I've learned so much I've learned so much and the blessings the, the intention of why I did the food forest I'll get that from Allah my intentions were pure so lessons learned move on fail forward so this is my new project the market garden where in this season I am just working on transforming and helping the soil become more fertile more wheat resistant more 
biological life and also getting into the habit of growing crops or growing vegetables all season long that I can bring to market learning how to grow from seed learning how to grow from store bought vegetables experimenting with different and exotic fruit and vegetables that don't grow locally in order to have a rare species or rare crops at my disposal alrighty then so that's it for this video I just wanted to give you a quick update on my new project the market garden in beautiful Sheikh neighborhood the infamous and my ancestral home of Dreghada there is Sheikh in the distance all right thank you very much for watching if you like the video put a like on it help a brother out and salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh